Good morning guys, how are you all doing? So Dan from Trading with Dan here. This is our Bitcoin morning update. So let's go over to those charts. Um, so yeah, um, as you can see, pretty much uh, nothing, nothing else is going on at the moment. Um, we did, we did say in last night's video when we had our our little move, our tiny little move, basically this little price action here, um, that I I did suspect we'll just end up finding our way back around around literally exactly the same area, um, and that's pretty much what we did. We had that move up, that move down, we had the move down, and then we had a move up again. <laughs> Um, and now a move well not really a move down but i mean we're still basically in exactly the same area so obviously volatility is going down it's going down a lot and we obviously we all know that high volatility leads to low volatility leads to high volatility so um may, may, maybe tomorrow it'll come when um, the cme opens um but yeah uh, this is a two hour time frame but yeah we'll go to four hour um yeah so we can see that there's just not much going on we're just in a tight range and yeah, it'll be a case of are we going to break up out of this range or break down out of this range. Um, whilst ever we can stay up at this area around this 9,400 to 9,500 zone, um, I would lean on the, towards the bullish side that we will break up because we are basically, we're sat at resistance um, and we're not getting rejected. So um, so if we can break back above it, so above 9,500 and start and start basically trading in that zone, I think it will then start to um, start to look pretty bullish for a move. Well, for a move at least up to the nine thousand, at least up to this top of the triangle, basically, and then it'll be a case of do we have do, will we have the momentum to break through at that point? Will we um, form will we form some support um, up in this zone to break through, or will we come back down? Um, so yeah, if we get get the uh, Stokes up, we can see the uh, twelve hour Stokes um, are still pointing down, but I think they will um, they will start to. Um, start to tail off um, on the next 12 hour tick if we if we hold where we are now and that's only one hour 46 minutes so so yeah I mean, if we can hold 9400 zone and um, 12 hours will start to look better again um day, daily still going to be pointing down um but four hours as you can see four hour is still pointing up but but maybe losing a bit of momentum um but if we start to get some uh start to get the 12 hours starting to point up then um we we should be able to um get some good move upwards um um, even even if um, the four hour gets rejected temporarily at this line, it can then turn back up, and then we can break through this trend line. But um, but yeah, it's it's like it is getting towards the make or break make or break area for this formation. Um, these formations typically um, typically close before I think it's typically are resolved um, before they get into like the last seventy five percent of the of the of the zone um so yeah so i mean anywhere around here so basically basically next week next week it will seem like to me um so anywhere any any time basically within the next week um yeah you can see here um volatility is low this is a um historical volatility um indicator volatility here is pretty low um and then also on the daily we can see volatility is very low as well so we are um looking at um, breakouts in volatility um, in in higher term time frames as well as well as just the short term one. So it could lead to a big move. I mean, I would I would guess that it's going to lead to a big move, and that big move is either going to be upwards and on, onwards and upwards, um, or it's going to be um, down through the bottom. So um, the only problem we've got is um, obviously this could change before markets open, but we've got um, obviously wall street looking looking a bit weak over the weekend down nearly a percent and this uh, this just seems to be getting worse um every time i check not that i check that often but um yeah so i i have seen this reversed um a lot of times before the open um some miraculous buying comes in or some or some world leader comes out and says something um and then all of a sudden we're into the green so um at the moment it could be weighing on bitcoin's price at the moment but um don't necessarily expect markets to open there that's all i'm saying um and not necessarily I mean, don't just think that guarantees markets are going to open here or lower um, or here or lower basically at the open but yeah that will potentially be weighing on bitcoin's price anyway because if we get another route of the stock market next week then i think that will be it we'll get that expansion in volatility on on the on the on the short and the larger time frames and you can only you can only guess that's going to be debt to the downside um if we do get a do get a, a move down in the stock market so um yeah so difficult difficult times really um short short term time frame it's not looking as bad i mean we could get back up to the top of this triangle and um, we could get back around to the 10ks but um 
<laughs> it's definitely not all um, all looking as good as we would want it to be if we if we look at a, a wider a wider picture. Um, but yeah, we'll have to see what happens. It may be a case that we get um, that we do get up here. We do get a break up above, uh, like a proper move up um, to like um around this 11,500 and then we'd get strongly rejected there and and then resume down after what would basically be a massive macro fake out which um is not is not something that um is not something that's beyond the realms of possibilities um that's what I'm trying to say it's not it's not something that we can't discount um <clears throat> so yeah something that we definitely do need to do need to pay some attention to um yeah we've obviously got the trend line um coming in um, which we are above and um, we are flirting with but I mean this is I mean you can see we can break it a bit We can obviously have have a um, price action through it and then come down We have obviously got a lot of price action through it this time um, But it's at a lower price isn't it and we have and we're not as extenders potentially as we were from a move from 3,000 ish to 14,000 ish um, so yeah um, <clears throat> so yes, yeah, so I think now basically based on how mature we are in this formation how long we've been staying at this level, i.e. how the volatility and the large time frame is low and how the volatility is low in smaller time frames. <clears throat> I think next week, um, even potentially early next week, um, is going to be pivotal for the, 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 the medium to long term direction of Bitcoin. Um, <clears throat> and I think I, I think unfortunately that may be tied into the fate of the stock markets, um, which means gone down even more look since the last look, which which are are not in my view <clears throat> looking as good um as they could be so it is definitely a definitely a difficult one guys here so uh, yeah something to consider right so anyway that's it guys um this is not a financial advice i'm not a financial advisor um i will do an update um later on today um this evening so yeah look out for that and i will speak to you guys soon